Today's a special occasion, ladies and gentlemen. Reported live from Queens. Rich's bar. Oh, see, peace and tranquility from the jump. Anyway, another tutorial coming up right now. You know it's about to get serious when I brought two hagwon lamps down, right? I got the freaking onions in the, in, in the kimchi pyeong with the freaking alteration of scissors and three pounds of gochukaru. I walked 20 blocks to get these drugs, man. $15 for gochukaru. I start off by saying, look, I don't claim to be a chef. I didn't go to school to study this. I studied this in the kitchen when watching my dad, my harmonies, my emos cook, you know what I mean? My first bath was in the same tub they made kimchi with, yo. Hot sauce in the dick hole wasn't just a cube tape for me, you feel me? Real t My dad taught me this. Let the meat just take a bath, you know what I mean? In the cold water. Right here is the brisket. This is the round, you know what I mean? It's the centerpiece. Just, you know, let the blood seep out. Clean it a little bit. Purify it. Soften it. You know we got the shigam chan deck. Hold up. Tonight's triple threat. We're gonna make some shigam chanamu, right? My favorite spinach side dish. Another side dish called changjorim, yo. I know a few Korean girls out there just got horny just hearing the word changjorim. And I will make some yukejang for my girl, all right? Peep game, ready? Because we're doing three dishes right now, we need to be, you know, very cautious with our time. Bang, look at this right here. You see that meat? 2.93 pounds right here. Round, centerpiece. I'm gonna cut that right in half with the changjorim, check. Took half of the round beef, cut him into healthy chunks, put him into hot water, you know what I mean? Let it boil a little bit. The spinach is easy. You buy a chunk from the supermarket, you boil it in some salt water. After it gets soft, you bathe it in some cold water, chop it up a little bit, then you come to this. Just for your information, you know, spinach is kind of like bok choy. Any type of greens that you cook in water, it'll shrivel up. A whole bunch like this turns to that much. So I made the sauce, you know, a little bit of soy sauce, sesame oil, some minced garlic, and you're going to mix both of these up. Bam. My government is Richard, right? Richard Lee. My middle name is Day. So, short for Richard is Dick. So if you put that together, it was Dick Daily. I hated that. You know, these are gochus. But gochu in Korean means That was the beef is cooking, you know? The sauce for the changjorim is very simple. A lot of soy sauce. Lots of garlic. You know, I'm gonna put some gochukaru in it just because it was $15. I'm gonna use the crap out of it. See, this word gets really Korean. It's called kosari. I don't even know the English trans. Hold on, watch this. You see that? It's magic powder. My chinamani, that means my dad's mom used to snap about this much, right? And half put in his soup. Crazy. See, while the beef is cooking, I added a little bit more honey. You know what I mean? Try to thicken it up a little bit. Look at my shikam chido. You see, that's a side dish. That's cold, crisp, so got the azazak. You know what I'm saying? I could rush the process. I'm not about that. Chankama, hold up, wait a minute. Do you see my yukejang brisket right here? Flavored by the onion right here. You see this, right? Softening up. You know that little oily uh, red substance, that melon substance on top? I'm gonna show you how to make that right. Yeah, shake it through. You know what I'm saying? The alcoholics knew how to make the illest food. That was the flip side. That's what Boom Bop's about. It's that yukejang sauce. Okay, look. See, meat is kind of like humans, yo. If they're being arrogant, they're being tough, just, just let them sit in the boiling water. Let them sit with their thoughts. Don't do anything. Don't worry about it. This is ready. So you take it out. Bam. Okay, you can jump time. Ready? Bam. Kozari. Peace. Beef broth. Peace. Green onions. That you get junk sauce. Mix. Lightly. Don't break up the kosari, you know what I mean? Don't be a little. I let the soup blend for like five, ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? Let it let the flavors do its thing. While it's doing that, I shred the beef up into little bite sizes. You know, I don't want big pieces. If I want that, I get kalbi time. You get junk, I just want, you know, spicy vegetables and shredded beef. And the collaboration happens. Oh my god. Let me get all that. Let me get all this. Oh! Ay, ay, ay. See, everything coming together now. Changjuri meat is ready to go. Look at my yukejang bubbling right now. For all you Cholado people hating on me, saying I forgot. Nah, I ain't forget. You think I forgot about the Kyodan? Come on, son. <laughs> Shh. Okay, I'm about to start making the Changjuri. But look, only a few people are gonna understand this, yo. Yukejang is, I don't know, it tastes like an antique soup to me. 
You know, it kind of has that bitterness of like a durguni. I don't know if that makes sense. Kongnamu, peace, peace. You remember that pagul bagul I was talking about? It's happening right now. This is level three. My girl wanted glass noodles, you know, a little chop chat. Put it in there. You know what I mean? If your girl wants it, you gotta go the extra mile, you feel me? Sarah, shut up. <laughs> Lower the heat for the yuke you know what I mean? Let it simmer a little bit. The beef broth and the changjodim, the round beef, remember that? It's cooking right now. I'm gonna add the sauce. Check this out. Peace. Look at my changjodim right now. The green peppers. The round beef, the soy sauce, the beef broth, it's working in its own way. It's like hip hop sometimes, you know? It's not about the immediate flavor, it's about the depth of the flavor, you know what I mean? Like sometimes the song's not about the beat, it's about the lyric. Yo, you ever wonder sometimes when you eat chanjori, right? You see brown eggs. You wonder like, yo, are there naturally brown eggs? Nah, I'ma teach you how to make the brown eggs. Alright? Put the eggs straight into the porridge like that. Keep game. While everything's cooking, bubbling, you know what I mean? Making sure everything is fresh. Clean the dishes, you know? Do all the ingredients, clean all the chico geese, put it in the trash. So all you gotta do is, you know, eat your meal, wash the dishes, watch a Netflix movie, good night. Salty beef, you know what I mean? I let it cook. The hard boiled eggs, I unshelled them. Threw the eggs back into the broth, made them brown. Made the rice, cleaned the kitchen, soup is ready. This is when we get sexy, this is where we impress the girlfriend. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Everything is ready now. The trifecta is done. Check this out, ready? Two pieces of tofu. Chunk of kidney right here. Little seasoned radish. Red squid. Fermented radish. It's gaktuki right there. Do you know about gaktuki? Level three shit. Yukijang, the rice, a little bit of the beef. Hold up. You gotta get the guts, you know what I mean? Get the guts. Bang. What up, Queens? Next day. What you know about the gaktuki squid wrap, though? Oh man, this kogi now, right? Cooked it, tenderized it a little more. This is shred away now. This is breakaway beef. Let's try it. With the pepper, got your kimchi, and you get your changjodim, right? Naturally, what happens is this. Let me take it back for y'all. It's called bulmaranova. Rice and water. Classic Korean staple. My grandma used to feed me like this. Try. Babe, 